This is the flow hood method. That is a passive flow hood. And here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take that flow hood and we're gonna install it over this single main return of this air conditioning system. When we do that, all the airflow will have to pass through that flow hood. When it does, I will get a CFM measurement from the flow hood on the digital readout screen. Let's get started. Let's go over the equipment needed. For this application, with a single main return and a large amount of CFM, we're gonna use this passive flow hood. I know it's a passive flow hood because there's no motor on the inside. A powered flow hood would have a motor on the inside and it's made for small quantity of CFM. Now, let's get into a demonstration. Let's turn the fan on, get right into it. Okay. With the fan speed all the way up, we're gonna take the flow hood and apply it completely over the return air grill. We're gonna get a CFM measurement on the screen. Let's get into some of the pros and cons of the flow hood method. Okay, let's get into the pros. The accuracy is good if using the proper type hood for the proper application on returns. This method is easy to use. It has the capability to be used to measure register flows in rooms. And it's also recognized by ANSI ACA ResNet for grading new HVAC installations. Now let's talk about some cons. For high quality, this can be an expensive method. With leaky ducts, this will not be an accurate method. For a single return system, you will more than likely not be able to use a powered flow hood. Instead, you will need a high capacity passive flow hood. And when you're measuring systems with single returns and room by room returns, two flow hoods would be recommended. For a more detailed view of this method, please check out the step-by-step -step tutorial. Mm -hmm. 